Hello Meet CBDs, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be testing out the Rachel, Zoe, and Lorac Hollywood Glamour Mini Palette. I saw this on Ulta, it's 15 bucks. I fell in love with the way that this looked, so I had to buy it and I wanted to sit down and review it for you guys. But before I hop into testing out this guy, I wanna remind you that I do upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 5 p.m. Mount Santa time if you wanted to subscribe. So online it says that it's a addictive texture in an adorable size. There's a new diamond shine formula that contains 100% certified authentic diamonds. It says that it's a quadruple milled powder and offers a creamy like no tug application, impactful one swipe payoff and superior blendability. So this is what the little guy looks like. It was smaller than I thought it was going to be. And I have the effortless glamour one because there are two different shades in this palette. <gasps> it's so tiny. Look at this, it's so little. Ooh. That's what the palette looks like. This looks amazing, that looks amazing. These are my kind of shades, by the way. I'm so shocked that they put a little mirror in here. It's so tiny, but they put a freaking mirror. Look at this. Here's what the palette looks like. Very excited to play around with it. I think that the shades are super pretty and it is perfect for travel. Like it is so small. Um, hopefully it's worth $15. I, I don't know yet, but we will see. First, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here in the crease. When I dip my brush in there, there is some kickback. Ooh, that's a really nice transition shade. I've heard no one talking about these. It looks like they just came out at Ulta. When I bought it, it was in the new category. And the other palette just seemed a little bit too dark and smoky for me. And I was thinking that like, if I use this, I wanted to use it as an everyday type of palette. That is a very nice crease shade. It's very neutral, blends really nicely. All right, I'm gonna take the next shade over. This is the, these are the two mattes in the palette. The rest of them are either shimmer or metallic or matte with like a little bit of sparkle. No, most of them are either like a pressed glitter or a metallic shade. So these two right here are the only mattes. I'm going to take this shade right here and start building this up in my outer V. Now I don't know if they have a regular size of this palette because it says it's a mini palette. So I'm, I'm assuming that they must have like a full size version. That's a really pretty shade. I'm gonna go back in with that first crease brush and just blend out the edges. I think I'm gonna take maybe this middle shade. It's like a purple shade in the outer part of my eye and then put this shade towards the inner part of my eye. Ooh, very creamy. It is dark. I'm just taking this on my finger, keeping it in the outer part of my eye. All right, and I'm gonna take this shade right here on my finger. Very soft, look at that. Oh my gosh. I had to be careful of this. That is so pretty. I am shook at that shade. So pigmented. This shade does have a little bit of fallout. That is one of the prettiest glitter shades I've ever used. That's insane. Wow, okay, this look came together in no time. I love the neutral shimmer shades in here because you can do so much with this palette. I am just shocked at these shades. They blended so nicely. I'm gonna take a flat definer brush and use that same red shade underneath, like on my lower lash line, just in the outer part. These are very pigmented shades. I'm gonna take this first shade we went in with and blend out that lower lash line shade. I'm in love with this look. These shades are wonderful. Hold on, I just wanna swatch them all for you so you can really get an idea of this little tiny beautiful palette. This is the shade that I have in the closer inner part of my eye. Look at that. Ooh, it even has like little pink reflect sparkles in it. I, I missed that. So that is the shade right there. Then the next shade over is the one that I used in the outer part the shimmer, the dark brown shimmer shade. These are so pretty. There's that one. 
And then this is the third one over that I did not use. Ooh, that is so gorgeous. That's a light lavender shade with a bunch of white gold and pink sparkles in it. So pretty. I hope you guys can like see this. Then down on the second row, this is the first crease shade that I went in with. It's the matte one. Next one over is the matte red in the palette. There's that shade. Then last one over is like the pressed glitter in the palette. That's what it looks like. Whoa. This must be the one they're talking about with diamonds in it or something. So, wow, that is incredibly reflective. That looks like diamond on my arm. That's crazy. Yeah, I am in love with this palette. Look at those shades. Let me go ahead and apply some mascara. This seriously may be one of the prettiest palettes I've used in a long time. And it's crazy because it's only 15 bucks. It is a really small little palette, but man, that says like nothing to how wonderful the formula is. So here is the finished look. I have nothing bad to say about this palette. This is wonderful. If you guys get a chance to get your hands on this little tiny palette, it is like, I am blown away at the formula. So I just cannot get over, like the, all of these shades are amazing. I love this diamond shade at the bottom. I'm definitely gonna have to use that as like a topper or something. But yeah, I would give this a huge thumbs up. These shades are amazing, the shimmers are gorgeous and so pigmented. The mattes blended amazing. I love how neutral and wearable this palette is, even though it has fun pops of shimmer like, you know, this shade down here. And if you are looking for something that's a little bit darker, then they do have a smokier version of this palette as well. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video here. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.